kayo kung paano mag preserve ng mga iba't ibang klaseng pagkain oh, okay. na pwede nating actually kahit wala namang disaster na nangyari. Oh, oh, oh. Maganda lang tong gawin para 'di ba yung hindi ka naman every week nakakapunta ng palengke oh, oh, nga, tapos oh, oh, kailangan oh, mo bigla sa din din na magstu or may guest ka. Oh, oh. This is the best way to preserve your meat. Sa isang garapon, uh, ilagay po natin 2 cups of water. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then isang cup ng asin. Tapos, ilalagay lang po natin yung ating meat. Ayan, so, ganyan lang po. And then, you put uh, your herbs, whatever herbs you like to put. You can keep this for about four weeks. And then, after four weeks... Doon pa lang siya lulutuin? Uh, pwede mo nang lutuin, pwede mo nang ilabas. But, um, every now and then, you have to change the brine the water kasi it gets slimy so I, para maiwasan natin yung bacteria. So that's one way of preserving it. After four weeks, uh, ano yun, fully cured na yung inyong meat. So you can take it out na. Uh, you can wash it para hindi masyadong maalat and then pot dry and then put it in a, yung Ziploc. A Ziploc? Oo, para maano nyo yung flavor niya, nandun pa rin. And then you can use it Whenever, kung kayo eh, may bisita at kailangan yung gumawa ng stew or whatever. Mm. And salt also helps uh, the meat to be tender. Parang pwede din siyang tenderizer ang, ang salt. Ito naman ay tawag po dito ay curing. Salt lang po ito. And then just mix it. Let, ayan lang, ganyan lang. 